Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm Darren Marlar, and coming up on today's show, a federal appeals court is saying N-O to a nasty N-O-T-E on TP. I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. Do you struggle in the afternoons to stay awake? Well, there is a better remedy than coffee, soda, or even that energy drink, and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, in today's moment of duh, a New Jersey man tries to exterminate insects and ends up exterminating his entire apartment uh, just because you commute. Uh, your commute is like 20 seconds long and you dress, your dress code is, is a t-shirt and underpants. Uh, that does not mean that you can't find that stress can't find you in your home office. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on in the show, too. Uh, also coming up, are you a rare liar, an occasional liar? a frequent liar? Well, we're going to find out, or maybe I'm lying to you. And if you like junk food, you're going to love today's weird holidays. I'm Darren Marlar, and now it is the new and improved Tartar-controlled Darren Marlar Radio Show. It's Friday! <laughs> If you're a fan of scary stories like ghosts or unsolved mysteries or or uh, monsters like Bigfoot, Loch Ness, if you like the, the weird dark stuff, well, I have a show called Weird Darkness. And it's uh, it's actually it's just a YouTube show. It's not on the radio, but you can get it right now at WeirdDarkness.com if you like that kind of stuff. So after the show today, you might want to check it out. That's WeirdDarkness.com. Time now for today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Friday, July 28, 2017. You now have 149 shopping days until Christmas. Today is National Shampoo Outdoors Day. You know what? Uh, the program director here at the radio station, he likes to do that while playing in the sprinkler. He is such a child sometimes. Uh, today is also National Milk Chocolate Day, but then again, isn't that every day? Let's face it. And also, it's National Hamburger Day. And come on, isn't that every day? Coming up, uh, if you are a rare liar, an occasional liar, maybe you're a frequent liar, well, we're going to find out which one of those you fit into, or maybe not. Uh, maybe I'm lying about that. You don't know, and you won't know until you continue tuning in, so keep tuning in. I'm Darren Marlar. If you're feeling a little claustrophobic at work, well, there might be a good reason for that. Your cubicle might be shrinking. According to a report in Wired magazine, the standard office cubicle it has shrunk by as much as 50% in recent years. That's down to 30 square feet. The magazine also notes that, by comparison, most coffins uh, they measure 15 square feet, and the typical prison cell at San Quentin is a spacious 70 square feet. So, if you think about it, work is better than death, but worse than prison. Important assignment! Important assignment! Did I make it clear that your job is at stake? You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. What a filthy job! I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. I hate it here. Of course you hate it. People work here. I'm Darren Marlar, and if you'd like to hear the Darren Marlar radio show anytime, well, you can find it at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Up next, we've got our birthday wrap-up, but first, you know, it is a rare individual who gets through an entire day without telling a lie. Now, most lies are harmless. You know, those so-called white lies. 
uh, and they're told to avoid hurting somebody's feelings. Uh, others are, are bigger lies, and they're told to protect ourselves. Well, it turns out that telling the truth when you're tempted to lie, it can actually improve your mental and physical health. On average, the typical American lies about 11 times per week. And we wanted to find out if living more honestly can actually cause better health," said lead author Anita E. Kelly, a professor of psychology at the University of Notre Dame. And she says, "...we found out that the participants could purposefully and dramatically reduce their everyday lies, and that in turn was associated with significantly improved health." Over the course of the 10-week study, the link between less lying and improved health it was significantly stronger for participants in the no-lying group. For example, when participants in the no-lying group told three fewer white lies than they did in other weeks, they experienced on average about four fewer mental health complaints, such as feeling tense or melancholy, and about three fewer physical complaints, such as, th uh, such as uh, sore throats and headaches. Hi, my name's Bob, and I'm a... All right, my name's really Bill, and I'm a compulsive liar. Yeah, right. No, really, I truly am a compulsive liar. Well, then how do we know you're not lying right now? Compulsive Liars Anonymous can help. Get together with people who suffer the same compulsion as you. Meetings are Thursday nights at 6. No, they're not. They're Tuesdays at noon. You're all liars. There's no such group. Call 1-800-555-1212. That's not the number. 1-800-555. 555 3231. That's not it either. Oh, just quit it. If you'd like a few more laughs after the show, you might want to check out my Daily Dose of Weird News YouTube. Uh, in, in fact, uh, in uh, my latest episode, I've got frozen meat that crashes through a family home, uh, a five star hotel for cats, Canada. A Canada man has 25 wives. A woman steals flowers from cemeteries for her garden. Kidnappers release their victim, and you won't believe why they did. All of that and a whole lot more in my latest episode of The Daily Dose of Weird News, which you can find at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Celebrating birthdays today, you might uh, know her best as Gloria from All in the Family, uh, Babette Dell on Gilmore Girls, Sally Struthers is 69 today. From Everybody Loves Raymond, he played Pat McDougal, George Engel is 69 today. Um, from Lou Grant, Linda Kelsey is 71. Uh, cartoonist Jim Davis, he's the guy behind the cartoon strip Garfield, he's 72 today. And from Any Given Sunday, The First Wives Club, and Saved by the Bell, Elizabeth Berkeley is 45. When I wake up in the morning and the lawn gets out of water, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I grab my books and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus fly by. It's all right, cause I'm sleeping out the bell. If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess, and my dog ate all my homework last night. Riding low on my chair, she won't know that I'm there. If I can hand it in tomorrow, Just because your commute is only 20 seconds long and your dress code is a t-shirt and underpants, well, that does not mean that stress can't find you in your home office. If you work from home, then our next story coming up is for you. I'm Darren Marlar, and if you want to get a free gift from your teacher at school, well, no problem. Just show up late all the time. You can get rewarded for it. If going to school and showing up late, well, what happens to you, right? I mean, you're usually punished for that, right? Detention, uh, failing that day's work grade. Uh, you know, you're at least written up for it, right? Maybe not on that permanent record that we hear about, but uh, but in Manchester, England. 
If you show up late to school there, they give you a free alarm clock. Yeah, staff at St. James Primary School, they hope this scheme will ensure children to turn up on time for their lessons. Teacher Gwen Osborne came up with this idea after a brother and sister who were always late for class told her that uh, told her that is that they didn't have their own alarm clock. Well, so now why didn't I think of this in school? I mean, first I would have said that I didn't have a clock, and and then the school would give me one, right? And then I would say, oh, I couldn't concentrate on studies because I didn't have any food at home, and then maybe I'd get free school lunches. And then I would say that I'm late to school all the time because I didn't have a car. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. Coming up in today's Moment of Duh, a New Jersey man trying to exterminate insects ends up exterminating his entire apartment instead. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to be a part of the show, you can visit the radio show page at DarrenMarlar.com, and that way you can send me an email for my email bag, and I'll read it here on the air. Uh, just go to DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com, and then click on Radio Show. Well, just because your commute is 20 seconds long, your dress code is a t-shirt and underpants, it does not mean that stress can't find you if you work at home. To explore how our ubiquitous digital devices are affecting telecommuters or those who work remotely, a study looked at employees in 15 countries, including the United States, uh, the UK, and Japan. And the researchers found that although there are many positives to working from home or off-site, like increased autonomy, better flexibility, no commute, uh, well, the way that the workday can spill over into your personal time, that can be a big negative. They report that 41% of mobile employees felt stressed, compared with only 25% of the cubicle jockeys, and a full 42% had trouble sleeping, with only 29% of office workers reporting insomnia. And you know, seeing as I do this show from home, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a quick nap during this next song. <laughs> How did this delightful chance encounter go south so quickly? The Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm suffering for what you've done to this town. That is not fair. It's the Darren Marlar Radio Show, and if you'd like to keep up with everything I do, well, you can sign up for my free newsletter. It's called The Marlar Sheet. You can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. It's time for today's Moment of Duh, and a New Jersey man trying to exterminate insects has ended up exterminating his entire apartment. Isaiah, uh, Isaias Maceda, he was not injured in the accident, but 80% of his apartment has been destroyed. Edentown, New Jersey police said the accident occurred as Maceda was spraying for pets in his, or pests, that is, in his kitchen. Uh, well, somehow the bug spray ignited and a blast blew out the apartment's front windows and triggered a fire that quickly spread. The blaze also caused smoke damage to the apartment upstairs. Duh. Be honest with me, do you struggle in the afternoon to stay awake? Well, there is a better remedy than coffee, soda, or even that energy drink, and I'll tell you what it is coming up in just a moment. I'm Darren Marlar. You know, sometimes you, you just have to take a vacation from the news. A recent study it confirms what we've all pretty much known – bad news stresses us out. And it's worse for women. Reading depressing news it affects both men and women, but women hold on to that stress much longer than we guys do. On, on the other hand, uh, men, we probably shake off the stress by forgetting the stories faster. Women tend to remember the details to bad news far longer than men. And, well, yeah, I mean, of course the women remember the bad things longer. I mean, how else can they throw it back in our faces during an argument several years later? Oh, yeah, well, you didn't come home until 3 a.m. that one night in October of 2008. You ain't here, you ain't nowhere. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Finally a role model. The Federal Appeals Court is saying N.O., to a nasty N-O-T-E on T-P. That story is up next. Hey, if you'd like to uh, like me, poke me, tweet me, uh, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all of my uh, social media at DarrenMarlar.com. 
Well, put the coffee cup down, all right? Don't, don't go anywhere near that soda machine. If you want to jolt yourself awake around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, well, uh, you know, when you, you know, those afternoon doldrums that we get when we're at work, well, try climbing up and down the nearest set of stairs instead. That's the word from researchers at the University of Georgia in Athens who found that 10 minutes of walking up and down stairs at a regular pace, that does more to make you feel energized than drinking a cup of coffee or a can of soda. A study found that neither caffeine nor exercise caused large improvements in attention or memory, but stairwalking was associated with a small increase in motivation for work, albeit temporary. So why the stairs? Well, office workers they can go outside and walk, but weather that can be a little bit less than ideal sometimes. And a lot of people working in office buildings they have access to stairs, so it's an option to keep some fitness while taking a short break from work. You ain't here. You ain't nowhere. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Finally, a role model. Like history. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar, and you can catch up with me at DarrenMarlar.com. In fact, while you're there, yesterday uh, I came across a story online that was actually posted four years ago, but it was about me. Somebody believes that I am a reptilian person from the planet Sirius. <laughs> and, and yes, I am serious about this story. I could not believe this, but somebody pointed it out to me. I made a quick video about it just 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 because it was so absurd. But if you want to if you want to see that and also see the website, so it actually shows pictures of me and it says why I'm reptilian and everything. Really bizarre stuff. But uh, I do have that in my blog if you want to check it out at DarrenMarler.com. Well, it's it's that time of the day for our brain on drug story, and you know it's it's always about people doing dumb things under the influence. But addiction is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help, there is a toll-free number that you can call. It's 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. In today's story, a federal appeals court is saying N-O to a nasty N-O-T-E on TP. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Texas prison inmate George Morgan sent a vulgar message to a prosecutor written on a piece of toilet paper. He claimed he was just exercising his constitutional right of free speech, but a federal appeals court upheld a lower court ruling tossing out his claim. The court said prison administrators had the right to dock Morgan 15 days of good time credits for this little TP stunt. Morgan is serving a 23-year term on drug dealing charges. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? If you missed yesterday's show or a show before that, or maybe you missed part of today's show and you want to catch it later, you can uh, actually find it in my free mobile app, which you can download. Uh, just to look for Marlar House in your phone app store. It's absolutely free. Marlar is M-A-R-L-A-R. -A -R. Search for Marlar House in your phone app store, and you can download it and, and do a lot of stuff on my, uh, on my app, including get the podcast. Well, CBS News, they've reported that sea levels are, uh, they will be up by four feet by the year 2214. You know, far, far into the future, so nobody will be embarrassed or even remember this prediction when it turns out to be false. Tonight, tune into the Weather Channel that gives you only the facts. It's the Fox Weather Channel, the only fair and balanced weather broadcast on cable today. Flash floods hit the East Coast today, causing many to question why Greenpeace wants to save the oceans when the oceans are trying to kill us. Fox's Weather Channel, eliminating the liberal bias found on left-wing weather channels. Phoenix, Arizona reported a record low temperature yesterday. So much for global warming. So when you want your weather fair and balanced without liberal bias, just tune into the Fox Weather Channel. This is a no-spin zone, so don't expect any tornado warnings on this broadcast. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you have an amazing weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday. And uh, you know, it's actually a good thing we are at the end of the show right now. I just realized that when I ate before the show, instead of eating my rice cake, I ate my styrofoam coffee cup, and it tasted better. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart. That's all, folks.